I sometimes connect myself with you through my deep being, but I, but I cannot hear your response, and I feel alone. I am practicing regularly. Can you please tell me how do I become more receptive and can get them more connected to you? Stop using your DB. Don't use your deep being. <laughs> Don't try to connect. Because with all these things, you will go into hallucinatory states of mind. Then Sadhguru will start talking to you and things will happen and... Don't get into that. So what should I do? If I have to be receptive, what should I do? What is it that is blocking one's receptivity? It is just that uh, if you quote anything with too many things, it can't feel it, isn't it? Right now, you're too much of a gathering, too much of a gathering. Too many things have been gathered which you call as myself. Starting from your physical body, at least though there is considerable room to expand, physical body has some limitations, you cannot expand beyond… you cannot gather beyond a point at least. If you gather too much, collection time will come soon, yes? At least physical body, there is a limitation. But with the mental structure, you can gather phenomenally. And when carrying such a heap on your head, you won't feel anything. Especially if you start believing the heap that you're carrying is yourself. The less you become, the more receptive you become. The more you become, the less receptive you become. Or in other words, to put it very bluntly, you're too full of yourself. If you reduce that, how can you not feel? You will have to feel. What should I feel? Should I hear your voice? Please don't. You want to hear my voice, put on a CD or something. If you're hearing voices, then you need treatment. It's not about hearing voices. What is being put into you in the form of initiation is a life process. If you are not too full of yourself, if you sit here, it will constantly reverberate within you, always. So once there is a living energy within you, all you have to do is clear the space for it. If you clear the space, you cannot miss it. If you want sunlight to come in, you don't have to do any big fighting, just have to open the window, isn't it? So, just look at yourself and see. You may be a very smart man, or you may be a very strong man, or a very handsome man, very something, please reduce that. You will see, you will start feeling. Yes? Or you're a very good man, please reduce that. Good people can't feel anything, they become like goats because they keep on thinking, I'm good, I'm good. How? He's not okay, she's not okay, he's not okay, he's not okay, she's not okay, he's not okay. Compared to all these people, I'm such a good man. You're too full of yourself. People who think they are good, they're too full of themselves. Isn't it so? Reduce that. Just understand your place in the existence. You are like a speck of dust. Tomorrow morning if you're blown away, I, I, I don't mean the bomb, I mean… I'm sorry <laughs> Suppose you just disappear tomorrow morning, everything is going to be fine in this world. Do you know this? Oh. Can I talk about diamonds? Diamonds, 
Do you know that ultraviolet li light can evaporate a diamond? Do you know this? Diamonds are forever, you heard the <laughs> Diamonds are not forever. Just light falling upon it, it can just evaporate. Please touch and see, is it still there? Those <laughs> gone? <laughs> just ultraviolet rays touching it in a certain intensity, diamond will just evaporate. So that is all it is. It is not a big thing. Who you are, you can just evaporate with the right level of awareness. It doesn't take any big fighting to do. There is no big fight to do. Big fight is done because you are fighting with a crowbar. With the hammer if you try to break diamond, it's a lot of effort. Light, just ultraviolet ra rays can just evaporate it, it will just disappear into thin air, diamond. So, this is very simple, just bring the right kind of awareness to you. You do one thing, when you get up in the morning, what do you do first thing? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do the first thing in the morning? Phone, any message? You do one thing, you get up in the morning and smile. At whom? Nobody. <laughs> smile is not about somebody. Smile happens when this one is feeling in a certain way, isn't it? Yes or no? Unless you are a trained PR person, you learn to <laughs> kind of thing. Otherwise, smile happens because something is happening within you, not because somebody has come in front of you, isn't it? So first thing in the morning you smile, it takes twenty seconds, okay? If you can't smile at somebody who is next to you, just smile <laughs> Pleasant way to start your day, isn't it? And uh, if one dose per day is not enough for you, you are a chronic patient, Every hour, oh, it's eleven o'clock, <laughs> it's eleven o'clock, you know, twenty-first July 2011, eleven o'clock. How many times has it happened? How many times has it happened? Never before. How many times more? Never again. Phenomenal moment, isn't it? Eleven o'clock. Eleven o'clock, <laughs> it's a simple thing. You're taking the biggest things in the existence for granted, do you understand? It is eleven o'clock, is it a small thing? Is it a small thing? Fantastic, only once, only once in eternity, isn't it fantastic? Oh, eleven o'clock, crash course <laughs> Just do this every hour. You will say, in two weeks' time, how you will be. Hmm? Twenty seconds crash course you can give yourself, yes or no? Just do that, you will receive. <laughs>